Got a little live pinfish on here. Let's see if we get lucky. This pinfish is pretty lively still. Guys, we got something on the on the fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's up guys, your boy Jay Fishy here. And uh, guys, I'm trying to be a little quiet because uh, we're fishing a new spot. It's a little bridge that I've always heard is good for like sheep's head and uh, maybe snapper, but uh, the weather's cooled down a lot. So um, I kind of wanted to try it for the sheep's head because I heard when the weather uh, cools down, the uh, uh, sheep's head are biting. So I got some live shrimp today and uh, we're basically gonna try this little bridge, see if we get anything. The other good thing about this spot guys is the road is closed. so. I'm assuming that means there's not going to be too many fishermen here today because to get here i had to go through a lot <laughs> but anyways let me show you guys this is one side of the bridge however it's like a spillway i assume so look this is where the water comes out i haven't seen much movement on this side but uh i'm over here gonna try this spot over here and like i said i'm being very quiet because the water is super shallow guys so i have to be very quiet just in case there's actually something here so uh yeah let me get my uh lines wet and try it in here but as you guys can tell it's like a canal and it just comes under this bridge right here so i'm basically having to like kind of fish inside the canal and see if anything's here let's give it a shot oh and when i hunt for a um, sheep's head or snapper guys it's just my uh pen battle 3000 with my 10 pound braid little uni to uni knot tiny split shot uh 15 pound mono and just a little tiny uh J hook guys i just seen something jump in the middle of this canal let me get in there guys oh yeah we got something guys it's something tiny what do we got in here is that a i think that's a little snapper guys i'm being quiet because i'm trying not to make noise let's go we got a little oh my god this is probably the smallest snapper i've ever seen <laughs> let me get him off there look at this pocket size mangrove snapper this thing is tiny <laughs> let me get him back in there I'm trying to be as quiet as I can, guys, because uh, I think that's what I seen when I first got here. But, you know, uh, when the water's real shallow like this, guys, it's uh, they can really hear and see you. So I'm trying my hardest to see if I can get another one. Let's go. I knew they were going to be here. All right, guys. Well, I haven't had much luck on this side at all. I mean, I'm coming back now just to see if I see any movement or anything, but... uh. I don't see much it does look like the current might have slowed down a little but uh, i don't see almost anything in this water so uh i'm basically just gonna go across the street here and uh yeah just give it a shot i mean hey i know it's pretty much a shot in the dark but uh you never know guys this is how you learn about new spots like i said the fact that there's a baby snapper here means that it's probably like an area for snapper however the tide is stupid low right now so that's probably one of the uh, bigger mistakes of coming to this spot. But hey, I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. Came to give it a shot and you guys see what's happening. I'm getting something at least. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, keep trying and see if we can get something else. We found them again, guys. They're in the, they are in the spillway. I was casting on the other side and I guess this side was the good side. I mean, they're tiny ones. Look at them. <laughs> but hey, guys, this is also fun fishing. Just throwing a little piece of shrimp in there and hoping you get one. There you go, guys. Get out of here, buddy. Tell your big brother, mom, dad, come out here. <laughs> we got number three now, guys. <laughs> They're just all the same size. They must just be schooled up there, tiny uh, snapper here. Let me, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me get him off there. This one's actually a tiny bit bigger. And he's very feisty, look at that. What are you mad about, buddy? You're the one that bit my shrimp. <laughs> right where I threw him, guys, that's exactly where they're schooled up. I was hoping there might be a bigger one, but uh, if we keep running into these tiny ones, I might just uh, switch spots. I don't know. This park is kind of funny. I guess it is like a little boat ramp right here. I'm pretty sure you can actually walk out there, but uh, there's no real like trails or anything. So I might go exploring. We'll see what happens. Oh, I think I just seen a good size one in there. Let me get back in there. Ooh, guys, we got some good. Look at this a little pinfish. This is a perfect bait. Man, I'm really debating this now. Hmm. And it's a good sign. That means there's pinfish in here. Something's chasing them. Look at that. I barely hooked him too. <laughs> let me throw this guy in the live well. And uh, we might be using him sometime. Also, guys, let me know if this is a mistake to put in a pinfish in this uh, live well with all these shrimp. 
because if it is i've done it a couple times i don't think i've ever seen them eat anything though but hey i might not be looking <laughs> <laughs> another one guys jesus i even threw a shrimp head in there i was like man they're they're so uh schooled up there i bet if i throw a shrimp head in there they're gonna eat it and sure enough look at that <laughs> let me get them off Guys, let me get him back in there. Get out of here, buddy. Oops, you almost didn't make it in. <laughs> Man, guys, they're schooled up thick in there. Let's go, guys. We got pinfish number two. This is a very good size pinfish. Hey, hey, hey. He got off as soon as I got him up here. Perfect for me. Look at that. Yes, let's get him in there. Wow, guys, I didn't even know they got this small. Holy crap. This is the smallest snapper I've ever seen. <laughs> Let me get him back. Oh, guys. I don't know. It's a fun day coming out here, getting some. I, I guess it's a good spot to know now that I can come get some pinfish. Uh, I'm sure the big snapper come out at some point in the day. It's just right now, it's probably just way too shallow for them. They probably don't like it here, the bigger ones. So, um, yeah, now I got another spot in the books, I guess. That's for sure. Uh, pretty much just somewhere I can come. But I guess I'm good. what I'm going to do is take the rest of my live shrimp before I waste them all and uh, these pinfish and take them somewhere else. Now, it's a pretty good time to go somewhere and uh, cast those pinfish and see if uh, there's some snook running or, you know, anything that'll eat them. They're good sized pinfish. So let's see what happens, guys. All right, guys. Well, pretty much done micro species fishing. <laughs> but uh, before I leave, I just kind of want to give a walk around this place. I mean, I just kind of want to see what... Uh, what's good here you know where is there any other spots or is this literally it i definitely know this is like a boat ramp so it's super shallow right now i'll show you guys right now but uh this is where people just pretty much dock off with their boats so uh, it's like i said it's super shallow i thought there was like spots where maybe you could like cast but it doesn't seem so it really just seems like it's like a parking lot for uh vehicles here who fish and dock off so i mean of course you can always cast into these little mangrove areas kind of you know where exactly where i was just fishing at but uh i don't see oh there's a bunch of fiddler crabs little spider crabs but i don't see much going on here i mean these waters are super shallow and don't get me wrong i've seen snook travel these shallow waters so it's very possible but I don't know. Let me keep walking around a little. See if I uh, see any like kind of trails or anything like that. But it doesn't seem like it. Yep, no more trails. So it's pretty much just this little bridge area. Which, like I said, guys, I won't lie to you. I've heard this area is very good for uh, sheep's head. I just think I came on a day where the tide is way too low. Like, it's just too low, guys. Oh, look, I see a bunch of big little, uh, probably the snapper right here. They're trying to swim against the current there. I'm sure once this water reaches as high as it gets, this is probably a very good fishing spot for snapper, sheep's head, you know. Yeah, I see them swimming crazy right there. No big ones, though, just a bunch of tiny ones. Let me keep looking around. I just, you know, I came out here to scope this area in a sense to know, oh, there's some stuff moving right there too. Just to kind of find new spots, you know? I, I like to fish new spots, but uh, I don't like to get in trouble for fishing new spots. So <laughs> I always kind of try, try to go where like people tell me, you know, hey, we fished here, we fished there. I'm not really trying to uh, do something I'm not supposed to, which you guys let me know. Do y'all guys, do y'all just not care? I know so many fishermen who tell me like, hey, worst they're going to do is tell you to get out of there. And it's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'm just not that. Uh, I don't know. I'm not that um, brave to do that. But I might have to hear shortly. So anyways, uh, time to get out of here. 
All right, guys. Well, we're at the spot. Uh, this is just like a little preserve park. As you guys can see, there's mangroves. Uh, it's pretty shallow waters, but you never know what's running through here. I see some bait fish here, which is a good sign because that means uh, most likely something's following it. But let me get casted in there. I got some live pinfish. So I'm basically just going to free line him out there, see if uh, anything will bite him. And then I got some live shrimp too. And uh, yeah, let's see. I think I just seen a sheep head here. So yeah, let's uh, let's get in there and uh, see if we get a lot. All right, guys. Well, I just got a little uni to uni knot, some 30 pound floral to a little two all circle hook. And I'm going to be hooking up a live pinfish to this. See if we get lucky. There it is. Ooh. Got a little live pinfish on here. See if we get lucky. This pinfish is pretty lively still. Uh, I'm trying to get him as far as I can, but it's not really working. But you never know, guys. Something might come to these little shallows here. Guys, we got something on the on the fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, he got me stuck. No. I'm gonna wait to see if it comes out. Guys, I'm hoping I can get this out of there. I just talked to a local. He told me there's a high chance it's a grouper. <sighs> so unfortunate. I'm really trying to hold off before I break it. I mean, I have my other pole, so I could always continue fishing like that. And see if this guy comes out. <sighs> I'm just hoping I see this move. Man, it was so unexpected. I've only been here like five minutes. Fortune. All right, guys. Well, this is my second to last pinfish. Let's get him hooked up. I want to get one more try at this. All right, guys. There he is, nice and lively. Let's get him out there. All right, guys. Well, I'm actually going to be attentive to it this time. Just kind of watch it. Leave the spool open. If I feel tension, I'm going to let him go. Let's see. I'm letting him swim out a little. I'm trying to get him into the deeper. I heard there's a channel in there. Let's see if anything will bite him though. I think that's him just swimming away right now. I'll let you guys know. Like I said, it's my last chance, so I'm hoping for it. I guess I really didn't explain what was going on here either, guys. Um, pretty much I went to another spot this morning and I was just fishing out there with some shrimp, caught these two pinfish and I, I've heard of this spot here, which is on the way back home. So I was like, you know what? Let me stop by there and give it a shot. I honestly would have expected more to get like a redfish, but uh I just threw a pinfish out and next thing you know, I'm hooked up, the line's going off. And when I tightened up the drag to pull, it had already got me in a rock. It was very unfortunate. And a couple of the local fishermen here were actually here watching me do it. And uh, they both were, they, one of them took out grouper. And as soon as he yelled that out, I, I was kind of upset because I knew, you know, more than less likely he was going to get me in a rock. And sure enough, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, so now, I got this second one, but even they told me, they were like, man, won't lie to you, you missed your one chance. <laughs> so I'm hoping at least maybe a red will eat this or something else. But uh, let's see, guys. I would really like a keeper red. I still haven't been able to find that. Let's see if we get any luck. Uh, I kind of gave up with the shrimp. I had shrimp too, and uh, there's nothing out here biting the shrimp right now. So I gave up on that. You guys seen I was using the... Uh, but yeah, so I'll probably head over to my regular spots right after this pinfish and uh, see if I can get any luck on the shrimp there. Oh man, guys. Pinfish been in there for about 20 minutes soaking up. Not a single bite no more. Dang it, man. I kind of knew it when I missed that first one. I knew it. Oh, guys. Well, that's how you learn. Anyways, I'm going to keep trying a little longer and I'll probably just head out of here. All right, guys. Well, no luck gonna get this guy off the hook maybe i'll keep him in the live well see if he stays alive for the next spot if not we're just gonna be fishing with shrimp all right guys like always we're gonna start here by the uh pier and uh just work our way around i mean we have some live shrimp that pinfish might still be live i'm not sure and uh yeah see how we, see if we get anything all right well i already knew this but uh pretty much low tide the tide's coming in it's pretty bad i'm not gonna lie to you guys this tide is stupid low so um we'll see if anything's around but it's not a good sign let's give it a shot 
Right, well, it turns out this pinfish is still alive and kicking. So let me get him in there. Pretty much just going to let him sit around, see if anything comes and bites him. Hopefully a snook or a, a redfish, guys. All right, guys. Well, I've been on the pier for about an hour. No bites, but I will tell you one thing, guys. Those big roll mullet that I was catching that one day, gray mullet, I think they're called, huge ones were right here next to the pier. I mean, huge ones, guys. I thought it was a uh, school of snook. That's how big they were. Just coming right here, right through. Well, first I seen them come through the pass because they're so shallow over there. With my uh, polarized glasses, I can literally see everything that's coming through there. And it freaked me out. I was like, dude, there's like 20. And I cast it over there and they didn't bite at all. And then I seen them come up right here. And uh, like I said, with my glasses, I can see everything. So I seen them right there, huge. But um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get this pinfish up. He's gonna get to see another day because uh, I'm gonna just take him off because where I'm going next to the mangroves, there's no real um, open area where I can cast that uh, pinfish and, you know, so I'm just gonna be using the rest of the shrimp up there. See if I can get a couple of bites. Hopefully maybe even some rat reds or whatever bites. But uh, I'll see you guys there. All right. I guess you're lucky. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> Swam away perfect. He's still okay. I, I only hooked him down at the bottom, so didn't pierce nothing that's gonna uh, cause him to die. So sucker got to live another day. But anyways, let's get moving. All right, guys. Well, we're at one of these little mangrove cuts I love. Uh, just testing it out. A lot of the spots are taken today. So uh, this is one of my uh, most visited spots. And uh, I just told myself, you know what? Let's go there. We got some live shrimp. We're getting some decent little bites. I mean, I'm not sure what it could be. Hopefully it's something decent. But at this rate, honestly, I might even say I take a catfish, guys. <laughs> well, there was a little bite. But yeah, like I was saying, I know I'm going to regret saying this, but I'll take a catfish, guys. <laughs> I just want to get something. All I've caught today was uh, the little snappers. The uh, lizard fish and the pinfish. That's it. I mean, I had that nice bite, but I missed it. So I need some kind of redemption. You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyways, let's see what happens. All right, guys. Well, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I was just messing with. It's got to be a little bait fish in here. But <laughs> I didn't even realize it that I ran through all my bait. I'm pretty sure it's just bait fish out here in these mangroves today. Uh, I will say the past couple videos have all been shot in um, cold weather. So... I thought maybe it was a good thing, but I guess when it's too cold, it might not be that good of a bite. Also, maybe the evening, I've been trying morning uh, cold bite. So, but yeah, guys, I came out. You guys seen it today. We went to uh, new spots, as you guys could tell. Um, I still wish I knew what bit at the uh, second new spot. Honestly, guys, it's so unfortunate. Man, if you guys would have heard, oh, man, ah, it is what it is. I got to get over it and uh, just hope that next time I get i get it you know i hook them up but anyways so yeah it wasn't too good of a day but we still came out had fun had a good time uh i hope you guys enjoyed it you know sometimes i say this uh in a way where it's kind of just it's interesting to go out and try these kind of spots guys try new spots uh try different baits you guys seen i was using multiple different kinds of uh methods i i got the pinfish i kept the pinfish i tried it out i got a decent bite on it couldn't hook them up couldn't bring them in but we went out and we did something, learned new stuff. That's one important part of it, guys. I definitely learn new things every time I do that. For example, now, you know, the pinfish stuff, I know, uh, I, I don't know what else, what else to say about it. I'm just sure I messed up by just leaving the rod there while I was trying to jig for something else. I should have paid more attention. So I learned that. And uh, yeah, I always try like different temperatures. For example, Florida doesn't get that cold. So when it does get cold, I want to test it out so that I know next time it's cold, maybe. I know uh, what times to go out and give it a shot. But all right, well, I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, guys. Well, I'm back in the car now, and uh, just a quick little outro. I just wanted to keep saying I thank you guys so much for watching my videos, watching my content. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys can continue to do that. You guys are helping my channel grow, and man, I can't be more thankful. The only way I can repay you guys is by keep making content, and uh, hopefully, I can get some good content out there for you guys. I'm gonna be trying to pump an old jig a lot more. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to chase the snook. I'm trying to get some nice reds, you know, just basically the good saltwater species guys. And hopefully I can even go maybe offshore one of these episodes. Uh, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on anything like that. But like I said, I really wanted to thank everybody for watching my videos, watching my content and helping my channel grow. 
I guess I'm out of here. I'm checking out for today. Uh, I hope you guys have a blessed week. I hope you guys have really good luck out there fishing. Remember, keep a positive mindset. Uh, don't ever let that change, guys. You got to think positive. Hopefully, I'll see you guys back here on my channel for my next adventure. But until then, peace.